Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to Acadia. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's go into our pit boy. I want to show everybody that you can go back to the Commonwealth if you want to. You're not locked into this DLC. So if you want to break from Far Harbor and go back over to the Commonwealth and do whatever, you can do that. All right, now let's go ahead and go talk to the Mariner. Don't let the island catch you off guard. By my guns. The hull took a battering, to be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, and the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside Captain Avery. Why doesn't anyone help you? Each harborman is the captain of his own ship. Worked fine for generations on the homesteads. Your land, your rules. But when the island pushed them onto my dock, one by one, the ungrateful bastards expect me to look after my land, even though they're squatting on it like wretches. If it's that bad, why put up with it? I couldn't very well toss them back into the fog, could I? Bad luck, that. Surely their spirits would haunt me to my grave. And that's a fact. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. Huh. <laughs> But there is, I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools, specialized tools, and they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper, make it strong, and keep those blasted crabs out for good. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Food in front, dock in back. The bait shop. Let's talk to Alan Lee. Alan. The hole huh. needs mending. The mainlander. Here, it just don't Great. Build itself. Fire your gun a few I times and you think you're some wood, sort of hero? Steel, nails, this is our fight. Bike. Our island. Not yours. Don't you want a helping hand? Hell no. Once you start leaning on people, soon you can't walk no good on your own. What happens next time when you wait here, huh? Or the next? Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here, before the children of Adam or worse get you. What's your problem with the Children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. And all in secret from wherever they're holed up, they've been feeding the fog. And getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. You have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? We wait for that and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, in my daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance, something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there, because of the children. Show me what you got. Don't try anything. You can buy a couple of weapons from him that are legendary. There's the Admiral's Friend that does double damage if the target is at full health. It's an okay harpoon gun. Harpoons are pretty slow, so I don't know. It's up to you. And then down here we have the fish catcher. That's going to give you 40% less action point cost. Uh, it's just slow, so it's up to you if you want to use that as a melee, melee weapon. Let's go talk to Cassie. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, cause this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. 
It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait. Are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble, he thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame, that. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. We'll secure the area. Let's go inside the last plank. Everyone! Everyone! We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths! Open your damned ears! So the fogs are coming for us all, and I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On. The. House! Yeah! Woo! Time to party! Here's some Mitch! Mitch! Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya! Ha <laughs> You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up! You stay here over long and the fog will claim ya. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can't you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. And if the clickety-click of the Geiger don't get you, the madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long and the mine goes if you have any sense return where you came from and don't look back if it's so dangerous why do you stay this is our home if you call yourself a proper man or woman you don't give up on that besides we all gotta die might as well do it with your long knife Deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Sorry, no. Pity. Let's go talk to old Longfellow. I think Ding likes you. Here, kitty. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. 
Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially. Wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers? They're a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellows got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, are you? I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my alerts out there. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. We're gonna grab the island almanac right here. Hey. Deep nice. This is gonna give us a couple of POIs on the map. Oh, Not enough folks value nasties. What the hell is a synth anyway? Eh. We need to move through the main drag. Old Mountain Trail is where we're at. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. There's something out there. Well then, what's next? I don't think we're alone. Try to take these trappers out real quick. You're not half bad in a scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> I did most of the work. See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with, but now... There's a couple ghouls over here. I like to take them out so they don't run up on me later. There's someone or something else here. What's that? Yes, we're not alone. Let's count the ammo and see what's left. Someone's Last coming. one right there. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Something else. Found you. That was refreshing. You like them puppies? <laughs> we grow everything extra mean on the island. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. You can pick up the wolf meat for taxidermy. Hear that? Crawler. They usually stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear. But you never know. Young lad, no higher than your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before.
We ain't alone here. You're dead! I'd say it's time for a drink. What was that? Look sharp! Boss, take them all. Gulpers got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them. What was that? We're almost to Acadia. Just a little bit further. Hold there. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those, too? Let's just settle down, okay? You're right. Waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead, seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family, if he deems you worthy. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with entrance into our family. Suppose I got nothing better to do. Huh. Adam usually prefers those with a bit more fervor. But nonetheless, if you wish to test his favor, seek the nucleus. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, Let's move on. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. Acadia is not too far now. Hey there. And we've arrived. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. Let's go inside Acadia. You know, when I first climbed this mountain, above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old Synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back. 
can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here, and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Nick, is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can sense even be related? Just because we're from the same assembly line, does that make us family? I gotta think about this. Is it really possible that you wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain old age? Or are you buying this whole, there's only so much room up there argument? I don't know. <laughs> it's not like we've got the instruction manual. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't 
fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory. In the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then... I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them. But I do remember being quite... content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? You should know the Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. We're going to talk to Faraday real quick, and then we're going to talk to Chase before going down and talking to Kasumi. Hey. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. You're right. It is a good cause. 
Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and talk to Chase. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, Tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Let's go ahead and come down here and talk to D-Jin real quick before we talk to Kasumi. I assume you're not planning on staying long. 
Is there a problem with my being here? Maybe. Maybe not. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. <clears throat> you want to buy something or what? Let's see what you got. It's not much, but it's the best I can do. So Dejan sells a couple of legendary items as well. The main one being Old Reliable, which is pretty much the same gun. As, well, it's not the same gun. It's a different gun, but it has the same legendary effect where you can shoot an additional projectile as the Overseer's Guardian. So if you want it, get it. It's actually not a bad uh, repeater. And then down here, we also have the Sergeant Ash which is going to give you a 20% chance to cripple the target's legs. We're going to come over here to the Islander's Almanac. Yes. This is pretty good. You're going to receive a 10% less damage from radiation-based attacks. Battles are won with fists. Wars with wits. Now let's go downstairs and talk to Kasumi. Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're a what? You came all this way... for me? You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad, uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here, on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. I'll figure this out. 
Just stay here. Okay. Good luck, and come back as soon as you've found anything. From one case to a new one, it's never easy for us, is it? Just past my stop here. Let's go ahead and exit Acadia. Now we're gonna backtrack and head over to Far Harbor again. While we're doing that, we're going to do the quest for Cassie. And we're also going to grab a legendary fat man. When you see the heavy fog, that's when you can get irradiated. Other than that, you're not going to take very much radiation damage at Far Harbor. It's kind of overblown. I think the glowing sea is more dangerous than Far Harbor, if I'm being honest. We're going to come over here. Follow this dirt road down, and we're going to kill some ghouls. Suppose someone should make use of it. And the last ghoul is right here. Over here is a cap stash. Now we're going to backtrack down this dirt road. We're going to hang a left. Also, there is some new fauna to loot if you want to. That's blight, and there's also a irradiated flower you can pick up as well in Far Harbor. Can use them to craft stuff. Chems, that is. Pretty easy to find the blight. We're going to hang a right at the fork in the road right here. Just follow this down. And then right over here by this bus, we're going to hang another right and follow this road down. So we get by this fallen tree and these trees off to the left. Hang a left here to get to Beaver Creek Lanes. Take out some ghouls. 
Someone's coming. Be careful behind us. Let's go inside. Let's go over here. We're going to lockpick this door. Nice. Now you can get in here from the hole in the wall, so you don't have to lockpick the door. But, I don't know. Experience, right? It's all for the XP. <laughs> Bastard. Hit me. We're gonna come over here. Be really careful. We have a glowing ghoul right there. We'll pick up the legendary fat man, the striker. Bingo. This will have a 50% chance to cripple the target's legs and it can shoot bowling balls. Pretty cool. Let's go into this terminal. We're going to disengage the lock on this terminal. And then we are going to eject the hollow tape, Mark Wilson's hollow tape. Let's go ahead and listen to that real quick. Gotta record this so I don't forget later. After we closed up for the night, you know, Matt and I split a couple of pictures while cleaning the pin setters. We got to talking about Thomas. I, I just can't believe he's going to be stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. And now, I, you know, he ain't never going to have the chance, you know, to pull that perfect game he's been so close to. So it's like a quarter of three, and we're shooting the balls back up the return and checking the motors and all. And we get this, you know, this really good idea. So Thomas's arms still work. So maybe we could use one of them ball returns, but you know, we'll hook it up to a stronger motor and mount it on a board or something. He could launch the balls out of it, yeah, and down the lane, it'd be like a like an awesome bowling gun. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. Go ahead and turn our pit boy light back on and then we're going to backtrack just a little bit go past the bus follow this straight down Pete, there are no police in Far Harbor. You have to help us. There may have been a crime. If you ain't armed, you a ain't stranger long for came this to world. town that might help Buy you. My guns now. That's the best I can offer. Ah, you there. Are you that detective I've heard about? I guess you could say that. No. I wasn't sure how I was ever going to find you. Sounds like we may have another case on our hands. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Who's the victim? Well, we want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Who are your employers? I shouldn't say out here in the open, but my employers are quite wealthy, as are the other patrons of the hotel. 
Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Food. Stim You need work? Fully Talk staffed. with the Mariner. Lord knows she's always carrying on about something. Avery. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. What exactly do you need help with? We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Meyer Larks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. All right. I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. Let's go ahead and go talk to Cassie and let her know we took out those ghouls. Remember, the island's always watching. Be careful out there. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I wasn't looking to get paid. I'm just happy to help you out. You're a good person. I can see that. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. What happened to him? He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground, a shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Take it one day at a time. Lost my home when the fog rolled in. Whoa, now that's some firepower there. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button and let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.